Hi, I'm Willie with H5 Technology. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. And I want to thank you truly from the bottom of my heart. 25,000 plus subscribers at this point. This is so awesome. Never thought I'd have one and now there are more than 25,000 of you. So go over to the video from yesterday I'll put a link to and comment on that video so that you can get entered to win that net tool. What we're going to talk about today is Unify ports. I get questions all the time. What ports do I need if I'm hosting a Unify controller? So if you're hosting a Unify controller, now there's two different places that the firewall can affect you. It can affect you on the local machine, so the machine that the controller is installed on, whether it's a Windows, Mac, or Linux machine, or even the cloud key if you've installed the firewall on the cloud key. Uh, and then also the firewall at the head end of the network. Now, depending on your network structure, there could be many other firewalls in place, but at a simplistic basic level, those are really where the first two firewalls are going to come into play for us and could cause issues. So the basic two ports that you need open to host a Unify controller internally and have external sites come into it, uh, you're going to need UDP 3478, which is the stun port, and you need to have STUN. STUN stands for Session Traversal Utilities for NAT. <laughs> what a mouthful, right? Uh, basically what it does is it helps multiple devices behind NAT communicate properly with our controller. And our favorite tool, the debug terminal, depends on this. If STUN doesn't work, that debug terminal is probably not going to work for you. And you could run into all kinds of, of quirkiness. So you want to make sure that you have that UDP 3478 open and you'll know if you don't because you will get the little uh, exclamation point and then you need TCP 8080 which is the inform port and that's how the devices talk to the controller at a minimum those are the two ports that you need if you want to access the controller remotely you're going to need TCP 8443 and then if you're going to do uh, the captive portal the non-HTTPS port, which is just standard HTTP, is 8880, and you should be using HTTPS for everything. Uh, the HTTPS port is 8843. The Unify Mobile Speed Test is 6789. The MongoDB uh, port is 27117, and do not ever open this to the internet. This should always stay closed. If you have an EDU AP, it uses UDP 5656 through 5699, and those are the ports for broadcasting. Access point discovery happens on UDP 10001, and then the port uh, used for make controller discoverable on L2 network is UDP 1900. So if you've got that local firewall on your machine, you definitely want to make sure that that's open you want to make sure that 10001 is open <clears throat> and um, and down here they say that you know 22 uh, isn't listed 22 is uh, going to be used for managing our Linux server or even if you've got SSH running on Windows at this point um, so if you're going to open SSH to the outside world, make sure you're using certificate-based authentication, not password-based authentication. So let's uh, hop over to the lab edge router here real quick and go over to our uh, firewall and NAT. And you can see uh, right here that through this firewall, I've got 8080 open, 8443, and then I've got UDP 3478, which is stunned. So those are the three ports that I run internally in the lab here. Now, uh, one other thing to note, that sometimes I see uh, people, and this does come up, um, and it, it has happened to, to everybody, but uh, occasionally I see people try to do an inform to HTTPS, and the inform port is not HTTPS, it is HTTP only. Now, it is worth noting that you can change these ports. I run them all default. Uh, Unify does not run as a root user, so there are certain ports that you can't use. And I believe it's 1,024 and below. If that's not right, somebody correct me down there. But um, that's it. So, you know, get to know these ports like you do every other port, and you should be good. 
So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you want to buy anything you see on the channel here, there is an Amazon link down below. We also have a newsletter down at h5llc.com. You can go over there. You can also reach out to us for... Um, any kind of consulting that you need, whether it's networking, voice over IP, programming, uh, web web programming, security, all that good stuff. Go over to h5llc.com, fill out that contact form, and somebody will get back with you as soon as possible. Uh, we also do have a Discord channel. The link's down there. Charlie's our admin, does an awesome job. That's it for this video. Once again, thank you. Uh, I continue to be uh, humbled even more. Uh, by everybody and and thank you very much 25,000 subscribers let's get to 100,000 subscribers and give that lab away and as always I will see you in the next video